Hi everybody! Today I'm going to show you how to make some really easy surface wipes that you can use to wipe down and disinfect um, tables when you go out to eat and shopping cart handles, um, anywhere that you may come in contact with that other people also may have come in contact with. Um, right now it's cold and flu season and just before this video I posted one on nasal irrigation to help avoid cold and flu. And this is also um, something that I use especially during this time of year to avoid getting sick as opposed to um, just getting sick and taking a bunch of medications. So this is again another method that you can use to avoid getting sick um, this cold and flu season. Also what we're going to be using are natural household ingredients that you likely have or can find at most stores and they're finding that a lot of the antibacterial um, ingredients and chemicals that are used to make antibacterial wipes and antibacterial hand soaps are actually um, aggravating the problem and creating resistant strains of viruses um, that are not killed by these and making them stronger. So again, this uses, um, this doesn't use any um, antibacterial ingredients, but it uses common household ingredients that you have and um, will kill all of the germs and hopefully help keep you healthy and well this flu and cold season. So what I'm going to do, um, there's a couple different ways that you can store your wipes. What I have done is I've taken a canning jar that I have um, quite a few of with the lid and I've taken there we go some paper towels um, that I've gotten that I have and I like to use the paper towels because once I'm in the store and once I wipe it clean I like to just throw them away so um, I'm not a big fan of, of um, throwing a lot of things away but you know, like I have a three-year-old, so there's just only so much. <laughs> there's only so much you can do sometimes. Um, but if you want to have something that's um, that you don't need to throw away, you can also use old T-shirts that you've cut up, old rags, things like that. So I'm gonna actually use a paper towel, and what I've done is I've um, cut it into four and rolled them up. I'm gonna put them in my canning jar, and this is where I'm going to store them. So the ingredients that I'm going to use to make this are really just three, maybe four ingredients if you're going to use essential oils. I have my aloe vera juice, I have my rubbing alcohol, and what I have, this is vinegar, and this is how I um, do my vinegar for the things that I'm going to clean. I infuse it. I really don't like the smell of vinegar, but it's such a wonderful household cleaning tool. So what I've done is I've taken dried orange peels, and I, as I um, accumulate them and dry them, I put them in my vinegar. And that way you have like a citrus vinegar. So this is actually distilled white vinegar that's been infused with orange peels. You can also use lemon peels and the other citrus fruit peels that you like, but it um, imparts a really pleasant scent to it. And um, if you don't have this, you can just use regular distilled white vinegar. So those are my three main ingredients. And then I'm going to just use some orange essential oil. And this is very easy to do. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use equal parts of each of my three main ingredients. So I have my measuring cup, I have my aloe vera juice. If you don't have aloe vera juice, you can use just um, filtered or distilled water. If you also are going to use this to clean your hands, you can add a little bit um, of uh, oil if you like, just a very tiny drop, or the aloe vera juice is also better for your hands as well. So I'm going to add equal parts. So I'm gonna start out with a cup of aloe vera juice a cup of my rubbing alcohol and one cup of my distilled white vinegar in this instance I'm using 
the vinegar that I have infused with orange peels. Okay. So those are my main ingredients. I'm also going to add about 20 drops of my orange essential oil. You can also use other essential oils if you like. Lavender and peppermint are always very nice. And then I'm going to just give it a quick stir and pour it into my jar that I have stuffed my paper towel or if you want to use old rags. I'm just gonna pour it right in there. I'm gonna put my lid on. I'm gonna give it just a good shake so it all soaks in there. And now what I'm going to do to, to take this with me um, in my purse or backpack, you can either put them in a sandwich bag that you can reuse. Um, I'm going to put it here in an old plastic container with a lid. So once those get soaked in, I'm just going to take a few out. Kind of wring it out a little bit. And I'm going to put them in here so that I can take them with me. I'm going to separate them a little bit so they're easier on the go. I'm not going to wring them out completely. I do want a little bit of the liquid to remain in there so that it doesn't dry out. Okay, so I'm going to put those in there. And then I will actually put this in my backpack. I'll add a few more. And the rest I'm just going to leave in there. You can also add some more paper towel or rags to your main jar if you like. So this is how I'm going to take it in my, I actually carry a backpack. So um, this is how I'm going to take it. And when I get ready to use it, I'll just pull it out and wipe down shopping cart handles, um, any tables, counters, things that you come in contact with, my hands. So this will help keep you healthy this um, cold and flu season. And hopefully you will avoid any unnecessary medications and unnecessary trips to the hospital. So once you're, you've used up all of the paper towel, you may find that you have excess liquid as I did. And so what I did is I put some of the excess liquid in a spray bottle and I use that to spray down surfaces and wipe them down and you can also um, put what we have been using in our house for quite some time is these little pieces of flannel fabric that we've gotten and we use those in lieu of paper towel for cleanup messes and so I've taken some of those and soaked them in the excess material so I can use those around the house when I'm not on the go and then I'll just wash them the the flannel and reuse it again. Thank you so much and continue to be well.